Whatever happened to Mary Brown's Valentine's Day retreat? Mary Brown, a protagonist of Sister Wives, stunned viewers when she said she sold out her Valentine's Day retreat. The reality personality received criticism from followers for the expensive getaway, which cost between $4,000 and $6,000. Fans were shocked when Mary announced that her getaway was fully booked, even though it appeared as though she had trouble filling places. But a perceptive follower or vlogger has been able to decipher the real meaning of her contentious withdrawal. They assert that the withdrawal didn't take place. For more information, keep reading. Mary Brown is looking for additional sources of income. Mary declared a second retreat, despite the fact that her first retreat wasn't successful and the high price point confused the audience. She made another attempt to persuade her supporters and Sister Wives viewers that her escape was worthwhile. The family is searching for additional revenue sources because the TLC series may conclude shortly. It appears that Mary Brown is equally frantic. On the day of the retreat, Mary Brown was present at her house. Katie Joy, without a crystal ball, a vlogger, has finally uncovered the real meaning of Mary Brown's Valentine's Day getaway. She asserted that Mary's most recent escape never took place. Katie detailed the event's intricacies in a post on Instagram. She said, in January, Mary Brown offered a vacation at her inn from February 16 February 19, 2023. After receiving a ton of criticism about the cost and possible scam for her deceptive advertising, she claimed the retreat was sold out. Then Katie brought up how Mary broadcast live from her Flagstaff house on February 16, the day of the retreat, at 12.05 p.m. Central Time or 11.05 a.m. Mountain Time. Additionally, her Instagram live lasted for almost an hour. Since Lizzie's Inn Heritage is located in Parowen, Mary earlier disclosed that her visitors would come in the middle of the afternoon and that it would take her six hours to travel there nonstop. It was therefore unexpected that she remained at home in the afternoon even though her sold-out getaway had no host. Long story short, I'm fairly confident she canceled the gathering, Katie Joy eventually proclaimed. Mary Brown's fans allege she broke the law. She might have rescheduled because I reported her to the Utah Department of Commerce Division of Consumer Protection for Fraud, an admirer speculated in the comments area. Another admirer responded to a question about what was fraudulent about Mary Brown's retreat by saying that she was violating the law by withholding information about the activities or lodgings unless you enrolled and made complete payment.